Hi ladies, this is Jules. Well, I have been working all day today and I've had a lot of videos put up today and uh, it's like 3 in the morning and I've been really wanting it to get done with these particular projects that I want to show you tonight. <coughs> Sorry, my voice is like really, just really tired. Um, I need to ask four ladies if you're watching to not watch. <laughs> and um, so I need um, Susie from uh, Silly Shy Su Sushi to not watch this video. I need to ask uh, Heidi Pinkett, my friend from Australia, do not watch this video. Um, Scrap Diva Forever, do not watch this video. And Zelly, um, Ozell, uh, don't watch this video, okay? Um, I am done with all the clothes tins that I've decked, and um, if I can show these beauties off, to me, they're beauties, and I'm very proud of these. So I'm going to scoot my camera back just a tiny bit. I have a tag that is for one of these ladies, and I wanted to show that. I'm going to show that first. Let me scoot this back. I made this tag today. Um, this is using some of the scrap paper that um, I had from doing the clothespins. And uh, I wanted to uh, just see what you guys thought. Um, I don't make tags normally. So what I did is um, I grabbed some of the designer paper from the Latte designer paper uh, from DCWV, I believe it is. And um, I just cut it in the shape of a tag. And uh, what I did is I sprayed the, some glimmer mist all over it. Um, I used the same paper and I turned it around because it was just one-sided. And um, stamped the sentiment and the flower and put the bling there. Uh, tried to use some of the purple to uh, go with the purple in the, on the designer paper. Um, and um, had a couple of, uh, one Prima and this one was a flower that was sent in the rack that uh, Wei Wei did for me, and so yeah, I'm using this, uh, those flowers for uh, the front part. And um, in the back side, I've got, um, I did an embossing technique, uh, embossing resist technique, so there's a script back there. Um, you can see a little bit of it. And um, I did this uh, little, I did a, a UT butterfly, and I did a mixture of um, Ink, ink colors to get a, a sort of a purplish tone. Um, but I used the actual negative the, uh, from the punch out and did some dark brown to kind of give a shadow underneath it. So if I lift it, it'll pop off. So I don't want to mess it up. And um, stamped this uh, with the, on a piece of white cardstock and distressed with uh, some of the Tim Holtz ink. And just put some bling here and did a, a cir circular paper clip there. And then use some coordinating color uh, fibers and the string of pearls here um, to match the color of the tag. So I wanted to show that to you guys and get your feedback on it, okay? Alright, so that's the tag. And I showed this one before. This is uh, Ozell's um, clothespin that I made for her. So it's all distressed. And the back side is all distressed with the ink and the edges. They even have the corners kind of lifted up a little bit there and there and here. Um, just to give it that old look. Um, and I use Mod, Mod Podge to uh, distress it. So yeah, this one's uh, for Ozell. This one's for Heidi. Um, I went with a different theme, almost like a kind of a grunge type of look for her. Um, what I did is I used um, some of this blue paper that Twee gave me in her rack. And, oh, you know what? got to change batteries really quick. Okay. I adjusted my camera and I changed my batteries. Um, so I did a few different things here. I had some old um, music hymnal paper and I ripped them up in strips and I got them all um, mod podge back here. And I got had some uh, punch outs, the f a Florida Lee shaped punch outs of music sheets as well. Just dressed that with some ink. Um, Martha Stewart punch, added some of the blue color and old paper distressed ink on this and just attached it. This is all, all on the back side. Um, so it is all uh, using the Mod Podge, just the, the gloss. And then on the front, um, I did basically the same thing um, with, the, with the hymnal paper. Um, 
on some white cardstock. I did this stamp embossing here um, with this and the letters of her name. And um, this one back here. And then um, distressed it with some blue ink and some old paper colored ink. Um, alcohol stain this because it was gold, the key was. Cut out the, the wings again. And I did it. I put the, butter, the, the butterfly, the wings in a different spot this time. Um, and she didn't want a huge big flower. She wanted something flatter. So um, I went ahead and did a, uh, some silver um, embossing around some of the parts of uh, the flower here. I don't know if you, how good you can see that. But, um, so I did it f to four layers. Um, this is the silver, and I did some blue back there and glimmer mist spray. Um, I did a thicker uh, silver back there with this daisy. Um, and this I can't bend it up because it's all stiff. But the back side, or the bottom flower, um, I have um, uh, did some, em it's an embossed flower, so I did do the uh, embossing uh, of the powder, the silver powder back there. So, um, and then I just used a, a little term that I had that looks like a cross um, for the center part. Um, still, uh, the heat embossed for her name, and I used a circular punch out to punch out the, her name and put that together. And I had this old ticket, or a ticket, it was a vintage one. And um, I just dressed it, wrinkled it up, and did some uh, black soot all over, over it. So this one's for Heidi. Um, a lot of the same techniques here with this one. This is for um, Silly Shai Sushi. Um, she wanted something with purple um, and some greens, kind of an, a shabby chic. And I don't know if it's shabby chic or not, but I, I like how it came out. Um, did a embossed resist with the flower here and the flower up here. Uh, same with the butterfly. Um, used the same scrap paper with that. Um, painted some of these flowers and then heat embossed and resisted here. Put a button here. Um, instead of ribbon, I used just the pearls on the string. Put some wings on there. And th the back side of it is uh, glimmer misted with uh, the coffee, the brown coffee, I guess it's called. I didn't do anything to the back because it had a lot of uh, just the prettiness of the paper color and the paper pattern. Um, and then added buttons to that. And this, these letters are made out of uh, wood, and I uh, just painted them with metallic purple. Um, so that is Silly Shy Sushis. And this is for Scrap Diva Forever. That's the Diva, and I did a vintage style, still very distressed, yellowed it up, distressed the edges, um, add a flower for the eye of her name here, um, flat back pearls, ribbon on the on the letters. Um, did feathers this time and uh, some pearl glimmer mist on the feathers. Um, did kind of a thing technique, uh, stickles and a pretty, but oh, kind of a vintage button um, with some ribbon and uh, nothing really on the back because the paper kind of speaks for itself. It's just gorgeous. I just distressed it with the ink so it looks very old, like old paper. So that's for them and um, I hope they like it and I hope you guys like it and uh, leave me a comment and. Um, you guys have been great with leaving me comments. Um, I really, really appreciate it. So, um, yeah. Talk to me, ladies. <laughs> okay? All right. Bye, guys.